So, right on cue live, we are live, and we have two guests today. One frauded. Every, like I said, anytime, typically with any Ryan Kill episode involving niggas, two things typically happen. Niggas either late or niggas fraud. <laughs> two are true today. So, the two that make it, how are y'all guys doing today? Fine, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, introduce yourselves. I'm Lauren. I'm Cutie. Okay, Cutie. Live, my, name, my real name is Cutie. A lot of people call me Cutie, you know, to be smart or just because they can't read. So, you know, I, I like your name. Lauren, what what's up? What's up? Q? We go way, we like go way, way, back. way, like way back to back. like the puffs. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you feel me with the ball. The yeah, before it is all my facial. I, yeah. I didn't think you would get facial. Hair. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I'm so happy, bro. <laughs> no, you remember when I was short though? That's another thing, bro. I didn't think you would grow. <laughs> yeah. Like bro, look at God. <laughs> look at him. Life comes at he you. He always fast. on time. Life comes always at you. Time. Fast. God is good. Listen. Yeah, you know, a lot of times, shout out to, you know, Lena, shout out to Lena, she's still out here, still wearing pink and being crazy. She liked to ref- Yo! <laughs> no! <laughs> we're oh, yeah. not, we not gonna mention Lena and not go ahead and get into how his mom has, like, pink everything. Yes. Oh, like, the license goodness. plate pink. Yeah, she no, lives like, in the, seriously pink. Like, like pink, pink house. Everything. Everything. She wear pink pink, every pink day. house. Everything. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and, you know, like, so, context, me, me and Lauren, we go back to fucking third, fourth grade, shout out to Lotus Academy. Shout out to Lotus, man. Yeah, you know, Thora Ina. Turn into a scammer, start stealing money. So, you know, we, we know. Ah, <laughs> you know, could have been a better end to the Lotus story, but you know, yeah. all good things. And, but shout out to um, Thor Marcia, you know, great shout times, out to her. great young boy times, whatever. Rest in peace, Shakura, man. Forever, Shakura. Rest in peace, Shakura. But, you know, I brought you guys together because I wanted to have an interesting conversation. Okay. I've been following Lauren for a while. I know she uh, bartends. I know Lauren. I want to have a good conversation. Do you know any stripper friends? Well, I know you know stripper friends. <laughs> Do you know a stripper friend who won't be on a, a, a episode? So, here you are, cutie. Appreciate you coming on, whatever. So, I just want y'all to talk about, for now, the stigmas and misconceptions of you, because, you know, you're the bartender, stripper, whatever. Also, the person that fraud, right? I want to have the holy trinity of, like, Instagram-type girl, like the bartender, stripper, and then just, like, Instagram chick. Who you got? A bunch of followers. Nobody know what the fuck she does. She look good. And niggas be on her dick, whatever. But, you know, she didn't make it. She fraud, she fraud whatever. But, so just from y'all perspective, what are the stigmas and misconceptions about y'all personally? And then just, you know, the lane you happen to navigate at this point in time. Well, a lot of times I feel like people Mike, don't... Mike, please learn. Don't oh, be the weak link. I'm don't sorry. Be the weak <laughs> link. <laughs> don't be the weak All right, so I feel like a lot of times people downplay bartenders. Mm-hmm. Like, they be like, man, we just ain't got no real jobs. Just stay in the third. But they don't know mm-hmm. that we got nine to fives, too. Mm-hmm. We just like to make a quick five hundred to a thousand dollars in one night. Talk heavy. You know what I'm saying? Talk heavy, queen. All off Long Island. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Dude, Long Island's be good though. Cause that's, that's what I'm talking about. Long Island. Why are we fucking up drinks? I make a mean Long Island. 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. Good. It's definitely bartenders that f up drinks, mm-hmm. right? You feel don't me? Don't censor yourself, queen. You better say no, it's, they, it's they, the they fuck up drinks. They don't it's, say it's, F up. All right, my bad. They fuck up drinks. They be drunk. Because it's been times where I go out and I forget I'm not the bartender no more. <laughs> and then I be trying to grab their hand and I, they be like, you can't do that. And I be like, you right because I don't work here. <laughs> but can you uh, put a splash of peach pucker in that? I would mm, like to have a mm, double shot of Patron in that. I would mm, like a splash of this. Mm. Yeah, they be mad. So, but, but it's the truth. A lot of them do mess up their drinks. Is it Long Island specialty? Bro, I have so many different specialties. Okay. But, like, what you got? I think Henny. What you got? I got a mean Henny slushy. Okay. That's like super duper heavy, okay, bro. I, don't fuck with I think Henny I make the best okay. strawberry Henny in the city, bro. What? I swear. I don't. I don't Anything care what you niggas possible. say. Anything fuck Henny. Is possible. Henny, Henny is done. I'm over it. Henny. You say. Bro, Ducé. we can make drinks with Duce. We can make drinks with anything. Crown, we can make drinks out of. I can like, tell you what that Duce do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, she's a uh, Hennessy slushy. What, what else you got? I think I make the best strawberry honey in the world, bro. Okay. Like on everything. I make all different kinds of flavors of Long Island. So, like, I do okay. a strawberry lemonade Long Island. I do a fruit punch Long Island. Peach and lemonade. Long that's Island. That sounds like, promising right there. Yeah. My strawberry lemonade margarita is better, though. Mm. With the pet rum. Fuck with the margarita. With the okay. pet rum. Just, just be chilling on it. Listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm a creature of habit, though, so I typically just get the same joint. Whiskey sour. And you, my keep favorite customer simple. that yeah, I like, because yeah. I'm gonna you gonna always make you to get something different. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. Because I, I love that guy. That's like, all right, this is my classic thing. This, I don't this want what I else. want. Just give me, give me eighty of these in a row. And though. then I, I'm like, I hit on with it. Why you wanna be so boring? 
Get in. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm not bored. I'm the motherfucking man. Give me whatever you want to make me. <laughs> and it Surprise works out. Surprise. And it works out. You're right. You I mean, it's hanging mean? trash, but you're right, though. You're, you're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't born tonight. This shit trash. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of drinking Henny myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I done went through my phase of Henny. Um, Henny makes me angry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, that's not for me. Mm-hmm. Now, the Patron makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Um, Girl, I like love Patron. Apple. Crown Apple. Shout out to the Crown. I like Crown Apple. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of that on the brown side. Mm-hmm. Apple is good. But the Patron is lit. And I got another thing. I don't fuck with tequila. Like, but why? I can't, can't do I can drink brown all day. All day. See, I'm not. But tequila, like, tequila will take me down early. Like, but see, that's the thing. Brown takes me down. God, everybody got their thing. Brown makes me frown. But it seems like even girls who are lightweight typically, right? They can take tequila though. It's weird. Girls love tequila. It's weird. Patron, they like the Patron, all that shit. Yeah, mm. And he hits you hard. Mm. All right, so we can get back to Cutie. What do you think some misconceptions, stigmas about you, and then you also, you know, what you happen to do? Um. And what's your drink? Is Henny your drink of choice? Just for the record. Oh, come on, Cutie. Like <laughs> Anything is always possible. <laughs> okay, continue. Anything is always possible. No judgment zone, bro. Okay. But, um, the misconceptions, I can say. People think that being a stripper, well, I don't call it a stripper because I'm an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You could put me in front of 5,000 people and they'll be entertained. So it's a difference between you calling yourself a stripper from an entertainer. A stripper, strippers, yeah, they entertain, you know, but it's different. It's a difference. You Mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Um, Now, it's different because everybody can just twerk. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Anybody can throw an outfit on and twerk. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So or it's different. Oh, yeah. So anybody can call their stuff a stripper, but everybody can't call their stuff an entertainer. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Fair. So um, that's really a misconception that, like, oh, my goodness, oh, you're a stripper, oh, you're a stripper. Oh, I'm not a stripper. I'm an entertainer. You get what I'm so saying? So it's not about, you basically just trying to separate yourself from bitches who don't know how to entertain. Exactly. So, you, you know. Exactly. Gotcha. And being a dancer, mm-hmm. an entertainer, mm-hmm. that's what you're supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? You're supposed to entertain. Mm-hmm. You can't, some strippers these days, you do that, that they can't entertain. You're going to be like. Did you have to grow into the entertainer? Like the, at one point, were you just the, the quote unquote boring stripper? No, I've never oh, you, been you, off the off the rip. I've never you had been it. I've always me and Cutie know each other for a minute. I've like, always been lit. I've, no, okay, talk like, to me, Queen. For years, you know what I'm, I'm saying? And I, back even in Studio 37 days when we worked there, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of chicks in a strip club, mm-hmm. like that really don't even know how to twerk. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It just That's so happens shame. that they're naked yeah. and or they have somebody a cute going, face. and they have a cute face, and somebody's going to you know throw a couple dollars on them. Mm-hmm. But Cutie, I will give her that. I've spilled drinks looking at Cutie like this bitch can fly. <laughs> Damn, Cutie. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make you another little guy when it's on me this time. Don't worry about that slushy, but don't I'm worry sorry. about that. I was like, oh shit, it. I got you. If you I'm saw what happened behind you, you would understand. I'm clean that up. Seriously. See, you, you looking at me, you need to be looking at her. Mm. Seriously. But yeah, I, yeah. And oh. it's only one other girl that I can vouch for at my club. And there was other strippers in the city that mm-hmm. are definitely, you know, good at what they do. But like a girl, Lala and Cutie at my club mm-hmm. specifically. Definitely. They run that. They the only ones that he can't even work the pole. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Those so are the poles. Like a, it's like a dying art now. They bitches leave the pole alone. Bro, they don't touch it. They don't even know how to use it. But this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a difference. Mm-hmm. It's levels. It's levels. It's levels to being an entertainer. Shout to me. It's <laughs> levels. Mm-hmm. It's really levels. So that's really a misconception. Like I don't like that. Don't call me a stripper. I'm not mm-hmm. a stripper. I'm an entertainer. Okay. Would you um? Cause me personally, I don't fuck with strip clubs only because. Like I like if just from like a concept basis, right? I understand prostitution. Like I'm paying literally for what I want. Like I want this nut from this girl, so I'm gonna pay for that shit. But stripper or entertainment, whatever the strip club is, you not to me, you're not paying for what you truly want. Like you want to fuck her nowadays, like, but that nowadays that's what it's like. You know, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. When Mel's Cutie come up here to, wilding out there. Like, when Mel's come to strip clubs, they want to be entertained. They want something that they don't have at home. They mm-hmm. have regular a regular girl at home. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So it's different. It's 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 very different nowadays. Like you can't call everybody and entertain you. Mm-hmm. She, she could be a stripper. She, she ain't mm-hmm. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you be doing a slick talking, trying to finesse nigga? You know oh, what's up? Like, oh, wow. I'm 
I'm more you know, of the trying to get them spending a little bit more or whatever. Or you just this little nigga. You see the, these moves, niggas. I'm more of the I'm the lit. I'm lit. Okay. Listen, you either gonna spend it or not. Okay, I respect Because I'm lit. I respect. And that. I'm not gonna beg you. Okay. And it's as simple as that because I'm lit. That's not that I'm like when bitch be trying to just like I know you lying. I know you're like you no like. I'm, I see. I'm right. not pressed though. You get what I'm saying? Right. You either gonna spend it or you not. Like if it's that. not meant for me, then that's that. Next. Gotcha. So. Is there? I've heard this thing a few months ago. It's, I think it was mainly in New York, but it'd be between bars and strippers. Was this ever a thing that trickled down here? Y'all Never. We gang. No, we just eat together. We <laughs> is gang. Okay. We, no, we all just eat, eat together. Like we all eat. Have you ever witnessed any type of tension like that? No. Not necessarily amongst the bartenders and strippers. Now I've seen strippers have it against each other. Okay. You know what I mean? Of course. And, and rightfully so, because the reasons that they have these issues is because if. They're dancing with somebody. God throws a bunch of ones. Chicks get to try and steal ones mm-hmm. and shit like so that. So that be happening. So like, dude throw money, but you like the only one on this area of the stage. Girl will try to like, it's come. What? Like, come? Hmm. They turn into roaches. <laughs> they turn into roaches. Like, <laughs> bitch, I got bills. <laughs> <laughs> that electric bill coming. You be on. like, what in the jungle? <laughs> what in the jungle? Literally, what in the jungle? <laughs> like seriously, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It gets sad. What in the jungle. Okay. It's really like that. Uh, so, Matthew, so what made you, uh, I don't know if you ever dabbled in it, but what made you uh, stay being a bartender per se and not being a stripper? Like, stripping is just it's just not something that I would do. It's mm-hmm. just not for me. You feel me? One, I can't fucking dance. Yeah, you know, kind of right. I'm glad you know that. See, don't you know be the, the boring stripper oh, bitch that Q didn't talk about. I know, I'm true to myself. You can't entertain. <laughs> stay behind that bar. Right? I'm true to myself. You <laughs> might catch a little wait, fake wait. Millie Rock can, out of me. Can you make drinks here? I can mix something up. Alright, so I said no. So see y'all know your lane. <laughs> <laughs> but I know my lane. I wouldn't try to right. make no drinks so yes. like I don't got time for nobody to be like, yo, sis. This shit weak. Right. What's this, sis? Like Where's Lauren at? Wait, Lauren. Where's Lauren? 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 Cause okay. you, you you messing up. And I just, you know, I don't think that I would be that confident gotcha. to be half naked. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All night. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Be, be it's for- a lot of confidence. You know what I'm saying? That you have to have. I, I don't think I'm near yet. It's the, the funny thing is, of course, it is a level of confidence. But I think because in, in this our generation, I think it's become more uh, mainstream and subtle now. I'm not sure if this takes the same amount of confidence as it once did. Because bro, it's so common now. No, but I think so 20 common, years ago, but 10 that's years what I'm saying. It's, it's level. It's no, 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 no. Y'all missing you the can't bigger call picture. Everybody okay. an entertainer. What's common now? It's fake asses and titties, right, yeah. which is bringing a different level of confidence because I bought it. So that's the difference. That's the difference. Shout out to the fake titties. Shout, Shout out to, to them. Shout out to the plastic plastic Shout out to y'all, 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 y and shout out to the niggas tricking off the office. And shout like, out to yeah. yeah. all the niggas shout buying out. asses. I yeah. respect you. I, respect, no, I, I ain't like, doing it, but I respect <laughs> it because, you know, <laughs> we get to enjoy and, and you know, dabble and all that. <laughs> I ain't buying no ass, bitch. Well, I'm a, nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna. Uh, I ain't with all that. I ain't buying no ass. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy a gym membership? <laughs> to work on the squats? I'm saying. No, we got, I got, no, I'm gonna get the plane of fitness journal, right? And you're gonna be my guest. So we go in together. Like, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm that's just, not fair. We're gonna look at Instagram videos together. Yeah. While we in the gym, I'm gonna show you how to get that squat like Bernice be doing. We're gonna, we gonna knock that right out, whatever. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know what? I can't. I can't. Um, what are some of y'all pet peeves about, you know, what y'all do when y'all in the club, show like that, whatever? Whether it's from other girls or just men, anything like that, whatever. I think everybody hates someone that doesn't tip. Mm. Yeah, okay. Good different. question. Good good point. So when you when you let's just say give him one drink, what's the appropriate tip? Just curious. Now, if you give him a bunch, that's a totally different type of market. I'm just curious. One drink you gave him, he walk away. What would you like? What would you expect? Five dollars. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think five is fair. Five okay, so fair. let's say he been hanging around him. You know, he been around there for an hour or two, five drinks. Well, how about that? Oh, yeah, you owe me a bag, bro. And I give you my personality. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my smile. It's a customer. <laughs> it's a, it's a customer. But no, a lot of the times, like, the guys that I'm in there kicking it with, and, and this is another thing that's a bad segment. Okay. People think that bartenders have to flirt to get their money. I don't flirt. I'm probably one of you the probably, goofiest bitches that you've ever yeah, met. You have I'm a good myself. personality. But everybody's exactly, not there like, for you to flirt. Some people don't want it. Like, you I, don't have to flirt with everybody. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is just be yourself, and they will literally tip you more for that. Yeah. 
Like if you if you a good looking girl, niggas gonna be bread. Like you don't really got. If you cool, much, you got a good personality. Right. You have good conversation. And don't let the drink be good too. The drink and is like the last thing. And don't let the drink be good because it's like this. Oh, and the drink good. Oh hold on, wait. I got some ones right. somewhere. Right. I didn't throw no, my seriously. ones yet. Yeah. Seriously. And now lately, guys have been throwing ones behind the bar. It's I've been like hearing about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the bartender's gotta eat too. People like Bernice, they change the game. You know, Bernice and uh. All them New York type Instagram bitches, bar bartenders, they change the game. Absolutely. And any other pet peeves? I got. How about you, cutie? Oh my goodness. Them trying to steal their money. I hate a non tipper. <laughs> I hate a petty ass nigga. What you mean? I mean, in, in regards to what you're referring to. Like, oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> you just get it together. Hold on. Calm down. <laughs> Woo! It's like, no, I'm <laughs> No, but like, um, say if like. Hmm. Then this is where we go into the prostitution. Okay. So say if I'm dancing with you, you know, you think you the man or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. and you want to fuck me, and I say no. Mm -hmm. So now you're not going to tip me? You're going to just stop my money like that. Like, you don't want to do me like that. Like, damn, I thought we was homies. Like, I thought we First had a fun connection. We ain't homie. I was invested. I know like, what they like, go there. That's what they want. You was enjoying my little. Then you you was enjoying me, obviously. Nah, nah, nah. So nah, now nah, I'm nah. not giving up the goods. You don't want to tip me. Hell yeah. So I was like, that's dang, why I don't like. Go to <laughs> that's why I'm, I don't want to be the guy you talking about. I don't want. I just keep myself out of there. I hate it. <laughs> Especially if it's somebody that yeah. comes in all the t like all mm, the time, so like that constantly. Fifth you time constantly he he was, see me. Yeah. You constantly see me. Why do you feel like now? Oh, you just picked today. <laughs> you just speak today. Well, man, I've been here five times this last month. Today is the day. You know how much money? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought we were on the same page. I hate out. a thirsty thought. Mm. If the bag is not yours at the moment, it's not yours at the moment. Leave know it yourself, alone. Queen. Know yourself, queen. Leave it alone. If, if it's going it's to come to you, mm -hmm. let that person make their bag. You're going to get yours. Have y'all ever fucked anybody out of the club? Mm -mm. No, sir. Mm. Is it because it just never happened, or you make a conscious decision not to do? Because if you know, I make a conscious decision, and okay. I just don't like feel the majority of the niggas that come in there. Okay. Right. Same for you. I haven't. No, I haven't fucked anybody from out of the club. But like, no. if I knew them previously or right, like, right, right, right. stuff like that, yeah. Not I mean, the same same reasons though. Like she said, you don't yeah, like, conscious um, decision. Mm -mm, like no, and then it's like they deal with everybody. It's like it's just too much. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Yeah. Sure. Um, when y'all before you before you came to Barton before you started entertaining, did you have like any like reluctancy or hesitation because of the stigma that you always you know of course everybody know of or you like fuck it, I'm gonna do this shit. I'm about to be I'm about to be fucking popping ass bitch behind the bar or on the pole. See, I've always been growing up. I dance, gymnastics, all mm -hmm. those type of stuff. So it was always like, hmm, it's a bathing suit. <laughs> really? Like, oh, I will make some money. If I can make money, make money in a baby suit, I'm gonna put this baby suit on and make some money. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Going to the beach in winter time. Okay. Like yeah. And like for me, hmm. I never did it for like to be popping or. Yeah. You look at the job. I want the fucking money. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's all I'm in it for. Fast fucking money mm -hmm. and one night. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Especially when you're doing the most two days out the week. Mm -hmm. I bartend four days out the week. I do art. Hey, don't I don't get it wrong. Job. We got jobs. We like, got day we jobs too. Jobs. You know what I'm saying? We have it, jobs. We have other things. Ain't nothing like no too. tech. You know, tax free dollars. Mm -hmm. and, like people think like, tax season right now. People too. think you don't have a, a life outside of the club. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, and a lot of people think that it stops there. You know what I mean? Like we got degrees. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it all is just a hustle. All it, yeah. yeah. Just and I feel like people just got to respect that. You know what I mean? Like, don't downplay it. Because, mm -hmm. sis, if I teach you how to make this Long Island and I put you back here mm -hmm. and you make that bag that I'm going to make, mm -hmm. right. you ain't going to say shit about a bartender ever again. Yeah, yeah. I always say, like I said, like, I feel if more men just thought about it, if they were in the same shoes, would you do it? Right. I feel you be let you be um, not as inclined to judge. Listen. Cause I know, even let's say not, not even y'all level, even more extreme. Like really, just fucking niggas from uh for money, right? Now, okay, I can call you a whore. I want maybe true, but I know if I had bitches want to pay for my dick, I'd be very <laughs> excited and like I'd be slinging this shit anywhere. Pay, pay, right. what, I'd be so flattered. Right. Pay for my dick. So how can I dare judge a woman? Cause niggas pay for anything. 
Pay for pussy. I mean, that's like smart investment. I wish my dick was like on like stock market type prices going up, shit like that, whatever. Well, you know. I, I think you should value it. It says stock market. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't want, 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 want my daughter. I wouldn't want my daughter out here fucking niggas. I'm just saying, in if I was in those shoes, I understand. <laughs> if, if I had bitches lying around the block, yo, what? You think? <laughs> Shit, we cutting checks for that. Like, now I know bitches what? that fuck niggas from the club, right? Mm-hmm. But what they don't understand is that they're fucking their money up. Right. Like I've when men that. come there and they tip them, mm-hmm. it's all a part of a fantasy. Mm-hmm. You fuck the fantasy up when I bust my nuts, sis. Mm-hmm. I'm or, not gonna keep coming and spending money on you if I've already tagged. It's well, cool. I hit. That's all I want. I can't bust a nut like with cutie. Like oh, oh, oh word. We on the same page. <laughs> word. word. Like. <laughs> You know, you, you mess your money up when you do that. Right, like, true. So with all that being said, let's say you got, I don't know if you have kids already, but let's say, you know, you have a daughter. Would you give her the same advice? Like, yo, it's a job, do it, or, or you try to stray away from it? If my daughter wanted to bartend, I wouldn't mind. Mm-hmm. You know how, about, I mean? how about strip, same thing? Well, I, I, Entertain or whatever. I don't know how I would feel about my daughter stripping. I don't have any kids now, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. And as any parent, mm-hmm. just because you're protective over your child and more so... You would be upset at what the other people would do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And what the other people would think and perceive them as. More so than just your daughter actually dancing. Because you're going to sit there and you're going to think about the fucking guys that are pervs. Mm-hmm. And what they're going to think about when they go home or what they're going to try to do to try to get her t- to go home with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just all of those things. So I don't know if I would necessarily let her do that. Yeah. How about you, cutie? Um, me being a dancer and seeing... <clears throat> doing I feel like I wouldn't be mad at all like I wouldn't be mad at all like I've learned a a lot in the game like Mm -hmm. and I feel like if it wasn't for that me becoming an entertainer a lot of stuff that I know and a lot of stuff that I do and the way that I am and the way I move I wouldn't have probably learned half of this stuff if I haven't been in the game to be honest Mm -hmm. so it's like some things are meant for you, you know. Okay. Um, switch gears for a second. Are you guys familiar with the whole new Afro Latina narrative? <laughs> okay, I like I like that side. I like that side. So, ladies, what are your thoughts on that? Just in general, <laughs> bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> like, bro, we went to an African centered school. To, no, we going, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, we went to I, a, I, I like, bro, I like that. But LeBron you know, James, we went <laughs> to an African centered school. Mm, oh, talk, talk heavy. Shout you know out to Lotus. I mean. Let's go. <laughs> As all minorities, we are one. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, mm-hmm. so many times, like people that of Dominican descent going ahead and. Don't even give knowledge to the fact that, okay, yeah, I do got Haitian in me. I am part black here. I am mixed. Yeah. I'm No, I don't have no black in me at all. Mm-hmm. I can't respect that. Mm-hmm. And then now for the Afro-Latina wave, like, why do I even have to go in ahead and make it Afro-Latina? Mm-hmm. Nigga, we all niggas. That's just how it boils down to be because at the end of the day, that's how we're all treated. We're all put in the same category regardless. Mm-hmm. Regardless. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Okay, you got any thoughts for you? That's just my vibe on that. No, nothing. Because I know women Bruh. that are like Afro Latina and then will go on ahead and make it seem as if like they're better than just your of average course. black woman. Yeah. And yeah. how are you? I oh. feel like it ain't nothing oh, okay. like a black woman. Okay, she went there with it. Okay, sweet <laughs> queen. I mean, sweet queen. I mean, say, I'm like, <laughs> you know, but I just feel like it's like you can't. Like, okay. I mean, like <laughs> sisters that are pretty mm-hmm. often feel the need to mention that they're mixed when they're told that they're pretty what and you mean? Indian my family. Like, like it bothers me. It but bothers why do we have to go there? Go through there. Mm-hmm. Right. Why can't I be content right. with just being beautiful and black like, at the same, same fucking time? And that's right. a great point. So I'm I look at it this way, like this is how funny life is. So many not even many years ago, recently, probably ten years ago, that was a common thing with people you were uh, even like, it wasn't a conscious thing. You were ashamed to say you were just one hundred percent black because of cer- certain things that were maybe um, pointed out about you. I said, "Oh no, that's my Indian side," or "I got this." My great great granddad was this, and so I'm saying, "Oh, nigga, I'm black and I look good, or I'm beautiful, or whatever." Mm-hmm. But now, since black people running shit, and we've been pop- we've been popping this whole time, but now that it's really come to the forefront in all things, like so, I feel now shit's coming around. Now everybody trying to be like us. 
And I feel everybody trying to jump on the black way. It's cool to be everybody's openly trying, black, whatever. Everybody's trying to be like us, yeah. but they're still not viewing it that way. Right. It's still like, look at weird Kim. things. You see yeah. a silhouette of Kim Kardashian, you're yeah. going to think she's a black woman. Yeah. Shout out to the fake titty. Shout out to the fake titty. Shout out to the fake ass. Yeah, I'm well with that. And also, I look at it this way. Like, I know a lot of people say, yo, we all black, we in the same hood, or Dominicans went through the slave trade. I get all that shit. But you really want to go macro with it. We all from Africa. So I don't really like opinion. looking at it that way. Because if we going to break shit down to race, let's stay consistent with it. And that's to my me, thing, and that's my I, I look at black as... Beautiful. A, that too. <laughs> but it's like a culture thing. Mm -hmm. Like, was y'all eating what we was eating, watching we <laughs> eating, talking how we was talking, no. going through what we was going through? No. I don't give a fuck that... A couple of generations ago, you found some black people getting fucked by some <laughs> same ants, by some same conquistadors and shit like that. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Like, you ain't black. If both your parents and grandparents not black, African Americans, or shit, you not black. Bro. You are Hispanic, Latino, or whatever the fuck. This Afro Latina Afro shit, Latino. this shit is Bro, dead. This is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm over right? it. None of y'all niggas black. I'm, 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 I don't give a fuck. Cause in the beginning, right, I thought they were saying, like, one parent is black, one parent is Hispanic, I'm Afro Latina. Oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. That's cool. That's a new word. They said, no, both my parents fucking like, killed I just get into black culture. Yeah, I'm like, like I'm, bitch, you eat, you eat rice and beans and plantains every fucking day since you was two years old. You ain't, See, you ain't got sweet potato pie your whole life. How you black? What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> where you been? I don't understand. You don't want to shoot in the gym. I don't understand. Yeah, because, like, my family is from Panama. And mm -hmm. then, but, but I don't label myself as a Latin. Like, I'm, when people, I don't be like, I'm black and I'm mixed with this. Mm -hmm. I just say, I'm, I'm, Af I'm African American. A culture thing. When you, when you sign these papers and you filling out forms and all that, don't say Afro Latina. Mm -hmm. It says African American, mm -hmm. Hispanic, and so on. Like, mm -hmm. it's, so I don't know where this Afro Latina stuff is coming from. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it doesn't exist. And I feel they're really trying to bring a lot of, cause of course, I'm not, and I'm not trying to denounce certain customs. Like I know that in all countries, we all got our own histories of colorism right. issues and shit like that. So I know Dominicans got shit with Haitians and colorism shit. I get that, of course. But you can't bring the shit I got going on over there to over here yeah. and say, oh, I'm treated different because I'm darker in Cuba. Right. So now I'm over here. I'm Afro Latina. Yeah, I'm black right. too. No, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah. You, you Hispanic. That. You gotta pick a side and stay there. Yeah. You ain't dark skin Hispanic, <laughs> and that's fine. Like, just say that. Be blessed. Just like, say that you just black as hell. You got a dark ass tan. Never wore off. Dominican Republic. And then you do also have the black people, you know, that are saying they're Afro Latina just because they hang out with some. Mm-hmm. And then the funny thing is, you a see lot, that. It's a, lot, a lot of these quote unquote Afro Latinos, they have parents that say nigger and shit like that, whatever. So, like, oh, you can't be with a real black person. It was like, I ain't real with that shit. <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> Shout out to all the poppies, though, that know they poppies. And, you know, all it's right. all love and respect. One of my best friends is a poppy. And, you know, that nigga never told me he was fucking black or Afro Latino. Oh, my God. We have gosh. the run. We have the run. We have to try that shit. Shout out to Ant. And how would you feel <laughs> if he said nigger in front of you? Okay, that's another topic. Me personally, I don't have an issue with it. So you allow it. He's been saying nigga to me since right. I've known him over 10 years now. Right. But he, I also know that he has the awareness to know that all black people aren't cool with that. So if a black person told him to his face, like, yo, and no disrespect, but I'm not comfortable or cool with that. He would be like, you know what? That's fine. Because I am not black. Mm -hmm. I can't have, I don't have the right to be like, nigga, what the fuck you mean? Y'all say what the fuck? Like, he has, to me, if you're not black, you should be old enough and mature enough and worried enough to be like, yo, I may got some friends who cool with this, but every black person not going to be cool with that. But if you are just thinking you can do what the fuck you want, you're going to get fucked up. And you shouldn't be it's saying it regards because you don't have the respect to so understand that. Right. Very simple to me. Like my mom, she ain't roll with that shit. Right. She don't but give do fuck you think that you allow him to call you that because you feel like y'all are the same? Me, I don't. I look at it as different, but it's just customs and tradition. Like, and I'm like, I know, if a white person's saying it, I know you're not saying you're a nigger, but I'm just not comfortable with it. It's just like a cringeworthy right. thing. Like, I know you don't mean no malice like, about nigga. it. But like, I ain't really rolling with it. Absolutely. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the new plug. Like, I'm just not comfortable with it. Right. Um, moving on, though. What do y'all think makes a, like, because everybody has their own different preference and taste. What, do, what makes a girl bad to y'all? Like, y'all see a girl typically, like you said, silhouette. It's a silhouette of a girl. For you to call her bad, what does she typically have? Features, all type of shit. Bad to me is you have to be educated. Okay, okay. okay. It's not. Let's look about just looks. Yeah. It's not it's about not looks. Bad. Like, you got to have the conversation. So you can be anything and be bad? You can look anyway? 
You can look any way and be bad. Yes, the Whoopi fuck Goldberg you bad. If if she says she's bad, she's. I'm talking about bad. what you think. Goldberg if she want to be bad, bad, she can say she bad. I can't argue with her. You bad. I'm Whoopi. already whooping the fuck down. Cool. Whoopi ain't <laughs> fucking bad. bad. <laughs> you rich as hell. My bad and your bad is two different things. But okay, you're bad. So I'm asking about your bad. That's why I'm telling you, my bad. Your she, bad, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> 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 Say, my bad. So if we talk about as far as looks, yeah, we talk about as far as looks. My bad. Let me see. What's some bad some bad? people like you know they like short hair, big titty, small titty, small waist, little ch- little chub, fat ass, short tall. Everybody like fat ass though, right? I mean, depends <laughs> on how fat the ass may be. I don't know. No, I'm still I'm still on Lauren London wave. Really? A naturally pretty definitely tops all. Naturally really? Does. Interesting. Naturally. Naturally. Women are mentally different on these type of subjects. Naturally. I find that Lauren London uptown somewhere real fast. Yeah, but I'm naturally pretty well. She's naturally pretty. Naturally pretty hood chick. She, cool. she, got, some nice, she got some nice dimples. Hood she cool. Clean hood chick. A clean hood chick. Her, her new new ass. She cool. You know what? I can't do. <laughs> but you don't agree? No, she's very pretty. But I won't. I. She never. I would never want to Lauren London wait, even when ATL is out. So where are you looking for? What I think is bad. Yeah, like what you think is bad. Let's go over the Instagram Rolodex. <laughs> scroll. <laughs> no, Bernice. Uh, bad. Scroll. Kim is scroll. bad. Scroll. Uh, right. That's scroll. Scroll. Yeah. Uh, all flavors. Cardi. Bria, Bria Miles Cardi is, is bad. a bad bitch. You hear me? Her little spicy soul. I think Cardi is tough. Cardi. Cardi tough. I don't. Like, I know, if Cardi stuff. never spoke ever again in oh, interview shit. form, oh, I might oh give her the bad God. tag. Oh, as soon as she opened her mouth, I should be like, oh, plays <laughs> Bodak Yellow to oh, erase this. Like, <laughs> plays Finesse remix. Like, I know, like, yeah, yeah. I give Cardi the bad Shout tag. Shout out to Cardi, man. Shout out to Cardi. Hey. Oh, OG Jones. Who some, oh, some, oh, I just saw the other day. Fuck. That was like older and bad. That's what you know, it's bad. Beyonce's Beyonce's bad. Beyonce's a baby. For sure. For sure. <laughs> That's what you're, so what y'all got? Anything? Because I can't necessarily base it on like specific features. Like mm-hmm. I, I can't okay. do I, it. I only ask. I know me. I typically uh, disagree with most men. Most men. I always say I'm a titty man. Like if we had a judge, we had to take a poll of all men. Titties, no ass, or ass, no titties. Most men would say, "Give me the no titties and ass." I'm gonna be over here with my nerds. You know, give me the titties and no ass. So a lot of people say, but some some people say if she got teasing no ass, she can't be bad no matter what. Some That's people say true. that. Some people say that. Because Cause I got titties and I got I not have, no piece of ass. I have titties and it's a wallpaper. Talk heavy, Queen. I have titties and Oh, yeah, that so. thing is Quakey Minaj. That, shit. <laughs> that thing shakes. I have ass and titties, so. Talk heavy, Queen. I don't know how to. <laughs> you feel me? Well, yeah, but like no, it's all about standards. Or right, women. <laughs> Something like that. If that nigga over, if he under five seven, I don't give a fuck what he look like. He can't. I'm not attracted to him. You know, everybody got their own standards. Okay, right, how, how about we focus on guys? What are y'all some of y'all like personal? You know what's crazy? Men? It's not even like it's more. It, it's not even like a, a a specific facial feature or anything. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, I just don't want you to act like me. Like and, you? And I won. Act like because a nowadays, female. like dog, oh, the club is a scary way. sight, bro. <laughs> I didn't see Bodak Yellow. Why are you so angry? Turn niggas into bad bitches. Booty. Bodak Yellow and Hookah. I didn't see that turn niggas Bodak into bad bitches. Bodak Yellow and Hookah. Blueberry Mint. I didn't see it turn niggas into bad bitches, bro. They be in the club like mm. blowing into the Snapchat. If me and you wear the same jean size, you mm. die. Like I just want somebody oh to be the man. Like you Talk know what I'm saying? Talk to him. That is all. Talk to him. That is all. Like that's all. Okay. I just mm. want you to actually be. A boyfriend, like if you want to spend more time in the mirror than me, I can't do it. It's a whole new breed of niggas out here, and they lesbians. Mm. I just can't. I can't. Gunshots. <laughs> can't. You got some compound that with cutie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you got some. You got some. You got some shade for some niggas. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are y'all, are y'all with the uh, girls saying like if a nigga? If a nigga short, he can't do nothing for you, or y'all can deal with short niggas. Mm. I've dealt with some. Sh- I've dealt with niggas that was like my size. Okay, you're pretty small. Yeah, cause yeah, you're a bite size cutie. Mm. I don't think so. 
No. I don't think a short guy could deal with me. Because mm. I already talk shit as See, it. that's the problem. So it's going to be First like... First of all, I choke you the fuck out. That's, that's what the problem. Gonna say. I grip you the fuck that's up the from down here. Really. Thank because you. Because I feel like I'm at the same, same time... I'm just saying me. I feel like I'm like, I'll beat you the fuck up. Lama, 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 yeah. I'm with bitches since, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know. Since 02, for real, for real. Like, in the gym, the sneakers. Like, <laughs> Stay on this shit. <laughs> Shut up, the 50. Biggest G unit fan I ever met in my life. Like. Listen, bro. Bro, to the G Get man. rich or die. Trying Talk was my it. anthem. Talk you couldn't tell it. me I ain't write that shit for 50. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you can't tell me I write that shit for 50. You can't tell me I didn't shoot that nigga in more than my whole no, no, You can't I got, tell me that. See, the thing is, hold on. People got fucked up. Like, 50 got shot. Five times. Mm. I took the other four. That's mm. my man. You feel me? True story. Right, right. Y'all never heard that story before. I can't do with you right now. I never heard that story. Fifty was, was my guy me. back then, though. Okay, so since you know y'all talk about you know y'all make a certain amount of money, do y'all does a guy have to have a certain amount of money to deal with y'all? Could, could, okay, does he have to make more? One statement. And if he makes less, what can he make less at all? Mm. All right. <laughs> because it's different. Mm. Like, you have a lot of girls out here that hey, don't do nothing. shit. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Don't do shit. All at all. Standards. But expect for someone to pay everything, everything for, for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you work on top of doing that shit, mm-hmm. you value your money a whole lot more. Mm-hmm. So how can I not value yours if I fucks with you as my significant other? Mm. And what I mean by that is, you may not be there, but if you're willing to get there, you see that actual. I see the potential in you, right. and you you grind just as hard as right. me. Mm. It's and game real time. potential too, not right. just some thought shit. No, no, just it's game right. time. I respect that. You know what I mean? It, I'm with you because you know a lot of women do be have, especially on Twitter, social media. Bitches be talking a lot of games, talking super heavy. You gotta have this, 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 this. Mm-hmm. Like, bitch, what the fuck you got? Mm-hmm. Like, but I've always said, you know, some men think it's like, I, like some men, damn, like, I do gotta have a certain amount of money to fuck with her. That's kind of that. But to me, if she has that, mm-hmm. or anybody, she has the right to demand it in a sense because mm-hmm. she yeah, works for that exactly. herself. Exactly, and that's I can't, my thing. I can have my feelings all I want. Cause I really want. Exactly. Yeah, I loved you. I was this and that. But if she worked her way up to a hundred k, and I'm down at fifty, I can't even match that. I gotta find right. another nigga with a hundred k or more. Like I, that matches well. Cause you now my level. I don't see your right. grind to my level. Right. right. So you can't be mad team, at that. But if we're a team, we're both gonna work so you can get to my level. Exactly. But he, you gotta see. Like you said, you gotta. You know. Right. If he just saying no, no, I'm, I'm gonna get there. And a lot of girls, <laughs> I'm just soon, soon. Yeah, I, I got you. A lot of girls that just look for somebody to take care of them, mm-hmm. they always end up fucked over in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's the truth. They say men who marry for beauty and women who marry for money get equally robbed in the end. And it's the truth. Mm. Because. Talk about it. I no longer love you when you become a bill. Right. Facts. You're right. a headache to me. To me. You're mm-hmm. something. You are now work. Right. Mm-hmm. I want. You are not my happy place anymore. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm about to sell you like I sold that car. But also, I'm about to get rid of and with liability. that being said, I know I can do whatever the fuck I want because you need me. Mm-hmm. I can go fuck Susan down the street. And Kiana up the street mm-hmm. <laughs> and come back here and you know it. And your friend. But All of them. <laughs> you stuck with me because I have to take care of everything. Mm-hmm. I am your funds. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, like I, I would never be in that predicament. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> one of them crazy ass niggas in Tyler Perry movies who, t- who just disrespecting dog and I bitches, but I know, like, I don't, like, I just know myself if it ever got to that point. Let's say I end up being Diddy, right? And I'm like, no, nah, babe, you good. Don't work forever. I know that's a recipe for this disaster. It's going downhill. Because as soon as I don't, we start having art, I'm like, well, first of all, bitch, wait wait a minute. <laughs> you ain't working a decade. I don't want it. Like, I just feel exactly. it's a... You, it go, you're going into that point of frustration. Right. Like, bitch, mm-hmm. I do all this shit. I'm responsible for this. Who are you talking to? I've seen it so happen I, 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 firsthand. I always like, want to... I think anybody is smart to just... If you got it, cool. You want to pay the bills, cool. But empower them. Let them be able exactly. to have something for their own. Like, and another thing, Build together. Too, if you got that nigga, right, mm-hmm. who's not even just looking at you like that as a bill, but just wants to take care of you, mm-hmm. don't be content with just being Facts. taken care of. Facts. Ask him to put that money towards something, sis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't just Definitely. buy bags. Don't just, don't just buy, buy bags, bags. Don't sis. let the car be in his name. Exactly. <laughs> don't do that. Right. Come on, yeah, make had, the most out of it. One, one of my mom's friends, they, they, was mar- they was married for like 20 years. He ended up like cheating on her, dog drive, whatever. 
And when it was time when he, when, you know, she caught him, found out everything, whatever. He's like, oh, where you want to argue with me? Okay, credit cards, cut, car, <laughs> repoed. Mm -hmm. Houses. Household. And, and she like, was asked out because she, she ain't working 20 years. And she, she had didn't nothing in her name. That's and it makes sad. him feel like, bitch, I'm doing all this shit and paying all these bills. Mm -hmm. You got the nerve to tell me I can't stick my dick in somebody else? Right. <laughs> and, and that's you what got the audacity. That's what it boils down to. And the, it's the like goal. you never wanted to get to that point. But if you guys make it where as though you're a team mm -hmm. and you both are working towards the same goal, is different because it's like, all right, I see your effort. I can respect it. You see mine. Mm -hmm. Facts. Um, what what is it? Uh, what do y'all think? Have Have you ever seen the thing circling on social media where it'd be like, if you out, yeah, it works perfectly if you're on a bar and shit like that. So or club, if you out with your friends, let's say y'all two out at a y'all drinking somewhere, or whatever. One of y'all guys come up. Y'all been drinking there for a while. He come up. She pay for both of y'all. Mm-hmm. Yep. If it's five of y'all, she pay for all of y'all. Yep. If it's ten bitches, yep. she still pay for everybody? Yep. But see, you got different kind of bitches, though. Because I'm the type of bitch where if I'm with my ten friends, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, I already bought all them bitches shots when I came in here. Right. And I kept buying them rounds. So why right. would I expect different from you if I'm doing it myself? Right. You come to me and you're approaching me, oh, y'all right. want something? You want something to drink? I'm with them. It's rude if you just gonna buy me one. And if you ask me, drink. I'm gonna ask my. And I'm gonna ask. Me. Oh yeah, I Excuse want me. ten of these. Sis, well, are you thank you. Are y'all talking about just buying ten shots of this? Are y'all talking about just buying a round or just paying for the whole tab? Both or what? Bo both. Both. Oh, okay. Both. My thing is, if I don't know these bitches, I'm not paying for them. I can't, don't come. I can't do it. I can't do it. Then don't come over I can't here. Do it. You my fucking girl. I'm. I'm I saw. Bitch, what? Then don't come over <laughs> here. Bitch, uh uh. You. I. I just met the girl for the first time. I wasn't paying for her fucking ten Patron, ten fucking tequila shots. I would. Over. Nah, now. You interrupting our party then. First, okay, first of all. First of all, <laughs> he cutie. Was first of all, cutie, I just met was you. Partying over here before you came over here. First of all, me Excuse and Lauren been for three years. <laughs> I just met you, cutie. I don't know Excuse you. Me. We gonna drink our shots. We bore it. Excuse me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had cover tasks with like female <laughs> friends and shit like that, but I, I, I just can't roll with if I just never met this bitch day. Like, I might not even like her. There's no way I'm paying for a drink for a bitch I don't like. You had some people out here that do it though. Yeah. Of course. I've covered tasks for niggas that got on my nerves. Oh, hell no. And I've, like, I've, First of all, I, why are you covering tasks for niggas? Like, I'm saying, like, I. I, 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 I Bro, I am content with the amount of money that I had. Right, right. Like, so if I go out and it's niggas with us that are mm -hmm. my homies and we all out, yeah, y'all gonna buy a round two or whatever the case may be. Or if I Everybody buy a bottle. Round for like, round. It's, it, like, it is what it bro, is. Rounds are fine, but I'm, I'm talking about the whole tab. But even the whole tab, if we all together and I invite y'all out, it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm gonna cover the tab. It's the same thing. Well, true. I'm not inviting people out that I'm not cool with. Well, it's the same so thing. Different. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna invite my homies out. And you, mm -hmm. I've always hung out with, you know, with niggas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I always been tomboy vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I tell my niggas, yo, bro, let's go out, we out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay for the tab. I invited you. It's just that's especially if you invite them. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all got any sex pet peeves? Like y'all like niggas spit on y'all? I will beat you. The fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> let out. <laughs> like, bro. Why? That like, sounds like I don't. You bitch, look, you bro, bitch. bro, you're going to turn a porn scene into a crime scene <laughs> so fast. I'm going to fuck Snap. you up, bro. Like, oh, my God. Bro, I wish a nigga would, yo. And then the bitches bitch. that like that shit. Bitches are into that <laughs> shit. I had a bitch sit like, dog. They be talking some crazy oh shit. Talking about like, you never had a nigga spit in your mouth? Yeah. I said, oh, bitch, I can't be friends with you no more. You just a whole different yeah. kind of nasty. Like, <laughs> you a whole different type of nasty. A whole different you, kind of nasty. You freaky, bitch. freaky. Okay. You lick ass and everything. I know you do. You, you, uh -uh. All right, y'all never like what big ass. Oh no. Yeah. What is no. this? No. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who what is you? this? No, sir. Y'all know y'all know niggas into that these days. So. And no. I feel like they are no suspect. Those are the ones mm. that know every word to Bodak Yellow and smoke blue paper in their phones. The they got a hookah oh in the crib. Gosh. Bruh. I will say this. I used to just That's call them. niggas straight Those are gay. The ones. Those are the but ones. because it seems so common now, I'd be like, if you get your ass ate, not for me, but alright. But if you get fingers though. <laughs> Nah, yeah, bro. Mean, I mean, I feel like either yeah. way, you okay. know, to each his own. You bro, know what of I course, mean? Of course, of course. Whatever you, whatever's for you is for of you. Of course, of course. But any of the niggas that's for me, <laughs> I don't need that shit to be for them. <laughs> I've had a girl on the show before. Well, actually, I had multiple girls on the like, show. Say, if they, me if and they, my nigga, we don't get in it. The girl said, if, they, if the nigga know. asks to get a dildo, because they say it right, listen, no, right, before look, I get to that wait, point. Wait, first of all, why is a man asking it for a dildo? Exactly, listen, right? So I was like, so you do anything to it? Oh, I'm like, 
can anything a guy do with a woman be, be considered gay? And he said, no, because we're for women. I'm like, so you can stick a, a dildo in a nigga ass and it's not gay? And they said, yeah, because I'm doing it. I'm like, so if your nigga asked you to stick a dildo in his ass, strap on, you would do it and not, not be weird? So yeah. Oh, no. I'm like, huh? A nigga asked me to do that? I'm like, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get it. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but ass naked at home. I'm leaving, bro. I'm out. I'm driving home. <laughs> Asshole naked, bro. Like, I'm out. No, oh, I'm going to leave my shoes there. I'm going to be at the door cold. like, kumbaya. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, sir. Kumbaya. No, no bueno, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know how I react because I'm the big and you're gonna be mad at me because I'll be like, Did you just ask me to stick a like? I'm gonna really make you like, you really gonna be like. I, God, I, 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 thought we was, I thought we was on that level. I'd be like, did so you just want, really ask me? What you want me to do with this? You got to dangle it. <laughs> you, what, you so, exactly in your, what, uh, you, what you want me to like, do. I'd be like, oh, so this is what you want, right? This this what you want? Like this. This is what you want. You want this dick? Like this. You want this dick? Right. Like. <laughs> how, how about uh, how about choking? You like choking? I like choking. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, you got something. So spitting okay. over, you take the choking. The choking is cool. We, but the spitting is how, how about bondage? Fifty Shades of Grey to come out again. We into the bondage. I, it's levels it. to that. Though. I don't mm. care. No, it's Strap levels to that. Okay. <laughs> it is. Strap me to the car. No, wait, the kid. <laughs> no, wait, the kid. It's levels to that. No, wait, the kid. Because I don't want you to throw away the fucking key. And like, you know, you gotta, anything you gotta be safe words for, you know that shit mm. ain't safe. All right, you right real saying? quick. What's your safe word? Go. <laughs> I ain't used to use this one shit. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Like, no. What's your favorite? No, listen, cutie? though. Like, I'm telling you, it's really levels what of bondage, bro. You, like, you can have me like that for like a certain amount of time. Way, Stop, motherfucking man. <laughs> 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 but you gotta make your voice deep. You say it's like, no, you I'm about to beat you the fuck up. <laughs> I'm about to beat you the fuck up. You better get the fuck yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that's too long. You gonna keep going. You, you gonna yeah. be stuttering oh. and shit. You ain't gonna hear none of that coming out. Oh, uh, no. I'll, yeah, I'll. <laughs> yeah, I'll. <laughs> I'll make a <laughs> How about, uh, have you uh, ever had. I got a, a female friend, and she says, under no circumstances, like your mom gotta die, will she ever be. That's the only way. Will she be cool with a man crying in front of y'all? What do you think about that? What? That's not. That's... She's very petty and crazy. Everybody well, has. Everybody has. I think if you got good emotions. pussy, mm. you had somebody cry. Words. Okay, she, <laughs> so that's why y'all so understand. She's like, no, because like, no, we all have emotions, but and this no. pussy is bomb. So like, <laughs> no, the but I think it's the pussy is bomb. It's like, I know, like, cause I, I, I had niggas cry in front of me, but it fucked me up one time. Because okay, was he in the pussy still? Or it was over. <laughs> no, it was over. It was over. It was over. That's over. You know, plenty bitches cry when the dick is still inside or whatever. Pussy is so. That's wild. But I was crying over some shit he did. Mm. And then the niggas oh. started crying and I stopped. I'm like, there's a lot of <laughs> bitches going on. Nigga, hit me with the flip flip. <laughs> niggas, my turn to cry. <laughs> you uh, selfish bastard. Yeah. Oh my God. He was smart with it. He saw, he saw you that. Selfish bastard. He saw where that was going. And then, you know, I you well, I've had like the stalking experience mm. of like a. Uh, an uh, ex that just wouldn't like really let it go. We cool to this day, but at the time he wouldn't really let it go mm. and like kept it going for like years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It would just call drunk as shit, Fuck like them crying niggas. one day. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be one day, but it will all it will always be drunk as shit crying, like on some drink shit. Yeah, I really have too much pride to ever be a stalker. Niggas out of pocket. Bro, be sometimes though niggas be losing good ones and they know they fucked up. They be feeling bad. That's not. I've always. Yeah, you're right. That's. I've always said I never ever wanted to be like Hov and Song Cry. Like never, cause you know if all relationships, not all, but relationships typically end. That's okay. <laughs> but when you fucked it up, when it was just great, hey, you gotta hold that L. And it's different when the person that you was with wasn't just like your lover. Like you really felt like that was your home the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's like, not only did I ruin this relationship, but now I will yes. no longer be able to get my friend back yes. because yeah. I ruined their trust. I mm-hmm. have a lot of people like that right now. Mm-hmm. They saw like, this shit. Saw this shit. You know, and with me, once <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I could I'm love done. the ground you walk yeah. on. Mm-hmm. But, you know, once you get me to that point, I'm at that point. Yeah. I respect it. And he's, Disloyalty, like especially friendships too, bitches too. Facts. Yeah, bitches too. What are some things that your um and your past relationships or even current or whatever, some things y'all have overlooked 
because you know the overall package are good enough, but y'all overlook like certain qualities or <laughs> oh, I'm, characteristics. I'm gonna pass on this question. No, no, you good, cutie. You, 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 you I'm gonna pass on this. Just, just let that go. Just let that go. You good? The mic right there. Just let it go. <laughs> like this, I messed with a girl one time. Right, she had fucked up edges. <laughs> 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 but you know, like. That was my bitch. I don't ride with it. But you know, anytime she ever like did some hair control. and she would have bounced. Ooh, like, oh. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and god. And one time I fought a girl who just couldn't dress. But it was, like, mind you, bitches no edges. That was a girl. Other bitch, I was just a personal. So I didn't really give a fuck about her not dressed. That's why she wasn't my girl because the bitch couldn't dress, whatever. Mm-hmm. So you know, shit like that. I had a boyfriend with a little dick one time. Wow. How long did it last? Three years. I was faithful too. Wow. That's a lot of my character. You see what I'm saying? I'm a little bitch. It's a lot about my she character. Like, what? What? It says a lot about my character. What, you know what sis? I mean? And that was because do. our bond was different. Like that was like my homie. So the sex was never good. Cause this is the thing I've heard. I can't say, be in a relationship if. If you don't have, if the sex not good, we don't have no chemistry. Right. Eh, it's nothing there. Like first of all, I'm, I mean, it's it's, it's wet already, but mm, it's not every, going to be. Talk everything. It's not going to. Don't go chasing. So have you like besides <laughs> besides that guy, right? So if you ever when y'all about to fuck with a guy, right? And you pull out his dick in the small. What is the next move? I've heard a girl. I know girls talk shit like. Well, I'm gonna put on my clothes. I'm done. But a lot of like too many girls be talking shit about niggas with small dicks. So you <laughs> fuck them. So like I think more <laughs> girls go through with it or not. Like I, then not. I rocked out. Mm. Only issue you that I honest. had was that was my boyfriend before we had sex. Damn. So it was like. Whoopsie. And then you still roll for three years. You know what I'm saying? And it. I'm stuck. Cool. And crazy thing is, he was cheating. Mm. And that's mm. what ruined everything. Damn. Y'all ain't had kids to be married. I'm here spreading little dick news. <laughs> I ain't letting everybody else know what I'm dealing with. I, I saw a Twitter that said <laughs> niggas be out here asking for threesomes when not oh, when not enough that. dick, not enough stamina, niggas, and you gonna embarrass me in front of company. <laughs> niggas ask you to call them daddy mm. when they only got a baby dick. Mm. You need to stay in your lane, sir. Little, little baby, mm. little baby, young lad. Like, but, any other things you overlook? That was that was very tragic. That was very tragic. Mm. How about you, kid? Come on, I'm sick of this pants. <laughs> I'm pissing on them. Don't pants on them because I don't know. Daddy. Um, how about y'all snore? I All right, snore. so I didn't think I did. Oh shit! But I tried. We got to, a heavy. I was one. talking shit about bag. No, it's not a heavy joint, but it's okay. a calm joint. But it's just like when you talking shit, you can't even have a little calm one. Yeah, fast. Like. You know what I'm saying? So like one day I go to the bathroom and Bay going to town. Like he like, oh, oh, oh. So like yeah, this nigga about to die. You know what I mean? Like I had, he to, about go, to, die. I had to go check and make sure he was cool. Like, like, Michael like, Jackson. I wake him up like nigga said like choking on some shit in there. You okay? You know what I mean? Hairball. And then he like man, I don't even sound. No nigga, you sound bad. I recorded you. You wanna hear this shit? Mm. And then he hit me. Like it wasn't me. <laughs> Somebody else. Yeah, you cheated. You with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it was me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, I used to talk sh- I, I've always hated snoring my whole life. And then out of nowhere, I started snoring. It's it's not a consistent thing. A consistent thing. I, I gotta be like, falling asleep with my head back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah I'm not an everyday snorer. It's like, yeah, I have to be and tired. if I'm sick. If I'm sick. Right. And I think that because like I'm a smoker now, mm. I feel like that plays a part in that too yeah, but I still don't sound as bad as him yeah, if you're a consistent snorer I couldn't be with a girl who's consistent no. yeah, snorer. I'm, I'm not a, I'm that'll a be a deal breaker a yeah, petty I'm deal breaker hell no I'm a snorer though. And either way, all, I, if I fuck the girl right then we go to sleep and she started blowing heavy like with some big mama diabetes oh, type yeah, snorer no, sis, you got yeah it's over like, I'm, and I'm waking you the fuck Excuse up me, because, because then it's going to be a point where I'm rushing to go to sleep so I don't hear you yes. not like, only I'm, am I going to be rushing taking like, pills and shit like, <laughs> like, you ain't going to be scaring me every time you fuck I'm popping up out of my seat and you dying nigga there's a fucking bear oh, next to no, you no, dying no, a dying bear no, no. Like, okay, I'm popping uh, out of my sleep because you snore I'm bitch your cool Thinking you were not going to sleep. Better not go to sleep. You better not go to sleep. Smack the shit out of you every time you start to doze off. Right. Um. Uh. What would y'all say? Cause y'all always say you know y'all y'all not into uh getting your mouth spitting. You know y'all petty whatever. 
So on the one to ten, cares. What we'll just say is y'all freak level. And <laughs> and your and your and your significant other, would the freak level have to be the same? Could it be less, or had to, or does it have the to be more? Freak level has to be the same. Okay, the same. Because right I'm on the free. mark. Cause I'm free. So you're like a nine or ten. And 10? if you, uh, yeah, you can't be a ten. You don't take spit in the mouth. Can't be a tip. I yeah, I'm, I'm I'm about an eight or nine. Okay, I respect. But like um, you can't. It's gotta be some excitement, like. Mm-hmm. Gotta be some fireworks and stuff going mm-hmm. on. Like you can't just be, you can't do me like that. It's like, like, <laughs> like nigga, I'm an entertainer. Fuck you, like what? Are you, doing? <laughs> what are you, doing? you know what? I can't do. It's boring as no, I have a question since we bring that up. Okay, talk okay. Do you think men expect more of you in sex because mm-hmm. you are an entertainer? Why don't y'all take over the fucking show? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, but I just think that that's good. Because I know niggas probably be like, bitch, let me see what she you can do stripper. on this. Yeah, this like, you know what I'm saying? Can she do it on a dick, though? Right. That's, yeah, shout out to 2 Chainz. I know. Shout out to 2 Chainz, because I can do it on a dick, okay, though. Okay, shout out to Cutie, because I can do it With on a dick, booty. though. Shout out to, what's, what's her name? Trina Lil' Kim, one of them. I just spin around <laughs> and keep that. One of them. One of them. I can spin around and keep the dick still inside. When, when I heard that lyric as a young lad, you know, <laughs> like, no, a but, lot of bitches um, went through my head. Shout out to whoever said that, Trina, whoever the book it was. But I can't, I don't think they, I don't think they expect more of me. Because mm. it's just there. <laughs> it's like, no. You're so, <laughs> like, I'm so chill, but, so modest. Okay, I don't gotcha. think they would. I don't know. I don't think they do. Okay. I don't get the, can you do this? Or, <laughs> right. I get the, Oh shit! Oh, she oh she doing this. Oh, this is what we doing. I ain't even have to ask. What the oh, hell? Where we going? So okay. this girl's good. So you said, I got a question. I got a question for you then. Would y'all agree that mo- all girls don't give their best head every time? No, I don't agree. You don't agree with that? Mm-hmm. Are you saying you give your best head every time? No. But <laughs> no, you're saying not all girls. No, do but that. not all girls. I don't no, not all girls. Cause I have friends. I have freak ass friends that tell me shit. So I'm just going off of from like what I be hearing and all stuff like that. So Lauren, do you give your best head every time? You give your best head every time. Yeah, absolute best head every single time. You super head every time. I'm super head every time. I'm like, it's like no, that's something that I'm only doing with my, my nigga. nigga. Okay. And with that being said, you're damn straight. You gotta keep your nigga. <laughs> Every <laughs> single time you're going you going full ten soul. super head on the dick. You gotta keep the word. Porn star level every time. Yeah. I will call Bay right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try me. You gotta watch. You ain't gotta do that, sis. No, the watch dance. Oh, oh sis. <laughs> the watch dance. <laughs> the Apple, I don't even know why it's on. It's so a real shit. The Apple watch dance. Oh, well, oh, well, tell, tell me the time better, though. Like, like, if I hold it, the time still pops up. Bay, you got your charger. Babe, okay. What so, that mom do? So, so, so back, back hey Siri, what that mom do? Oh shit, let's ask Siri. No, cutie. Last, hey Siri. A, according to your nigga other night. <laughs> that's just, Siri start problems. <laughs> cutie, so what ratio would you say you give your best head versus everything else? Out of you know, percentage wise. I don't I gotta On average. Are you like above fifty percent? Eighty percent? I don't below put a percentage. 50%. I don't put a a number on it of course because you don't it's like it. sometimes if they make me mad i might tend to suck the dick a little bit more better or if, mm, if i'm sadder suck, okay. sometimes you know it, it depends or the henny in you or the henny mm-hmm. you know, anything is possible you mm-hmm. know i can't say you know Go no, ahead and say it, Lord. Say? Hey, you come, well. come to the congregation. The tone helps you Patron way better in that department. And the killer, the, the killer bring it out the girls. For Absolutely. Sure. So which which I prefer? Do y'all like wine drunk? Too Bro, cool? I drink wine. So See, this I, is my thing. I drink wine, so mm-hmm. I can get tipsy <laughs> off of wine. I can. A wine drunk? I'm going to sleep. It's <laughs> no, I'm more bro, like, bro. Like, I'm more like. Ooh, yeah, why not? I, mean, I, I didn't drink one for you know a girl start girl start putting me onto it. Right. And I just be chilling. Like, just yeah, chill. like I'm like Riesling. I'm a really big fan of Riesling. But yeah, I like that. I like Riesling so much that I'll probably end up drinking a whole fucking bottle of Riesling by accident. Gotcha. And oh my god. Nap time in the house. Got gotcha. you. And then I smoke too, so that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We want. Yeah, I can, can drink wine when I'm more like chilling in the house. Uh, I just want to relax and sit. Mm-hmm. The tequila and all that is for hey, like, I'm ready to get ready, mm-hmm. titty, bitty, bop, itty, itty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm the wine. I like the wine. 
y'all y'all being in like the um be sexy the quote unquote woman industry what do y'all think about this new age of feminism I can't say it's a lot of feminism because it's like we the new niggas for real, for real. Oh, <laughs> yo, y'all, y'all took it there with like, it. Like we the new niggas for real, for real. All right, mm. this is my thing, right? Seem like we got more heart than them. Mm. I'm all for us females. I'm triggered by all means. I'm all for <laughs> us. Speaking to the mic, sis. I'm sorry. Let I'm all for you. us. You know what I mean? But like the whole slut walks and shit. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Amber, you know she got a, she got a titty Amber. reduction. Shout out to Amber, heard. and even though she thinks Philly bitches is ugly, we heard mm, that. She said it. We heard that. And bitch, I'm not ugly. And she's from Philly. <laughs> and we in South Philly right now. We in South. Philly. the woods. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, but definitely. <laughs> when we ain't hood. That shit <laughs> rubs Pump. me the wrong way, bro. Mm-hmm. It just rubs me the wrong way. The whole did you you see the signs? It's like right. I'm slutting on pride. It's like where's the pride and being a woman? Like and that's oh my gosh, my thing. Like oh. and that's one thing I can say. I re- like I think anybody listening can respect about what both you women are saying and y'all two different lanes is that you may do what you ever do, but it's still a sense of respect. Respect that exactly. you, you yourself. carry yourself with exactly. And it's not about what you think about what well, others think. It's about your own personal exactly. Work you gotta have like respect that. for yourself, and you you ain't gonna get it if you. Don't. Right, cause you know you can eat like I said, you can easily be you know fucking niggas or whatever. Is right. why I even go about it that right. way? Like, exactly. it's, it's in a sense messy. It's but it's like in that, but in that, and though in that world, the fem, new feminism world, it's like no, just do anything, and it's yeah, no shame it's like in no nothing. Shame and no that's game. the thing, nothing. and it's like shame is important. Like don't get me wrong, I feel like they have the stuff. true message of it all misconstrued because it's Better. like they're trying to make it whereas though they're ruining the double standard. We can do what men can do, mm. right? But they're kind of forgetting the whole fact of, of do you value yourself the right. same way that they do? Mm-hmm. Like, where's your morals right. at? What really matters? Like, in this I don't want to just go off and just have random casual sex with random people. Mm-hmm. I care about myself too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm a listen. I don't think you're supposed to just transfer that much energy with a million different humans, bro. My yeah. body is a sacred temple. Ain't that a funny thing? I even let everybody in. They quit to say, yeah, men can do it. In all reality, men shouldn't be doing it. Men most, shouldn't be doing most it Most niggas who that. fucking all these bitches, their lives be in a wreck. Like, it's like, <laughs> Listen. they ain't got kids, or they got some couple STDs. It's like, like it's, it's really, of course, pussy is amazing. Most of it. But it's like, man, when niggas <laughs> be hopping from pussy to pussy, man, that shit's rarely ever worth it. Like, that should be fucking up your life a lot of times. And I know it gotta so be. So why make women, why should this. women do the same? Like, why? Like, yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. And, and I, believe, I believe in double standards. I believe men, men and women bring down because of certain things we do better than the other. Like, it's certain strengths that, and of course, everybody's individuals are different, but it's like certain things that my girl do is better than me and vice versa. We don't right. need to be doing the same shit equally. It's like unrealistic standard. Yeah. One last thing, real quick topic. Y'all, fuck with, y'all like trap niggas? Y'all ever had a trap nigga face? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right, I'll pass on the last question too. She done passed on eighteen <laughs> questions, man. I'm tired right, of this let's shit. Talk about this. <clears throat> when we say trap niggas, are we talking about dudes that's just you know drug dealers? Drug dealers, or are we talking about, talking about niggas that's really trap niggas? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about both the niggas. <laughs> trap niggas, like niggas. Different, like you it's know levels. I feel like trap everybody niggas. has a starting point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like Corner if boys. you just can't get stuck in that life, because best believe is, is, is street niggas that's out here well, getting not everybody. It. Like, you feel me? Right. Way more than your average working guy and way more than the guy that that's the CEO. Like, there's niggas out here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But a lot of them get so stuck in their life. You ever heard the song Allure by Jay-Z? I know you have because you my man Q. You know what I'm saying? He gets into that so much because niggas get stuck in that lifestyle, bro. Mm-hmm. That's like y'all stripping for 30 years. It's like whatever you do, do it, speak and make and a get way, out. and get out. And that's why we speak on the fact that having day jobs and not and going and still having degrees. Like, I got degrees, bro. Graduated from Drexel. It just so happens that, like I said, I like to make a quick $500 to $1,000 in a yeah. night, rightfully so, tax-free. Okay. On top of my, you know, my check I get bi-weekly. Mm-hmm. It just so happens, but... The street niggas, bro, a lot of them make so much money that they could have put to something else, they and they Gucci don't. Bills. Like, the ones that I meet and the ones that I talk to, I go in there and I tell them to do other, do something else with their money. Mm-hmm. Like, 
How about you, cutie? I'm sick of don't, don't, don't you pass. It's the last one. Don't pass. I'm passing. Oh, I can't answer this trap nigga question. Come on. I know the trap nigga I listening. Can't. I know I know your trap nigga personal right now listening. But, you know, <laughs> you don't got to blow up a spot. You're going to say where you got the stash at. I'm just talking about what you think about the trap niggas in general. No, I'm not saying them. it like that. I'm just saying I don't knock them. I mean, like like I said, I'm an entertainer. Like, everybody here is their own little stuff that they have with shout them. Shout out to the trap niggas coming you know, to see Shout TV. out to the yeah. trap niggas, you know. They, they, like, they, I don't they, they like the entertainment, y'all. Trap. But at the same time, the I don't want that to be guys. where they're trapped at at the same right. time. And then he's right. going to mention. Yeah. I, right. I, I don't want them to, you know, right. get the wrong idea of what we're saying here. You can't do this shit forever. And we know right. that it's rough out here. You can't do this shit forever. But at the same time, at least I want you to go and try to see how you rough can't it is do this before shit you settle for doing that. Mm. You ain't never fill out no job apps. You ain't never been to no you interviews. Know, right. Right. You don't even own a seat. Right. See, and I know a lot of But you just went straight into that. Right. Yeah. So on that note, what are some of your guys' personal future aspirations? They say, you know, you got your other job, or whatever. So what are y'all trying to do in the future? To if, be if, honest, mm -hmm. I want to own my own methadone clinic, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Got a bachelor's in psychology, bro. Master's in psychology and drug mm -hmm. and alcohol counseling, drug and alcohol certifications. Mm -hmm. And I really ultimately want to open my own methadone clinic. Mm -hmm. Simply because I know you see, like, how these kids are on Percocets and they popping them like that shit cannot ruin them. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of time they, they kind of fear rehab. You know what I mean? And I feel like if I was to be able to put a methadone clinic in the hood, yeah, and a lot of people go in the head and it's a negative stigma with methadone because they assume that you're going ahead to be addicted to that too. Mm -hmm. It's just transferring the addiction. But they fail to mention that methadone eliminates your withdrawal symptoms and makes it easier for you to go on about your day without having to get high and mm -hmm. self-medicate. Like, we got fucking 16-year-olds that look like zombies because mm -hmm. they perked out because they favorite rapper told them to do it that mm -hmm. don't even do it themselves. Because mm -hmm. if they did, they wouldn't look the fucking way they look regardless of how much money they got. Mm -hmm. Future look very well kept. Future does like, not look zombie at all. If Future was doing all that shit that Future say he doing, bro, Future wouldn't have a fucking future. He'd be dead today. <laughs> okay? Bars. <laughs> right now. like I like that. I respect that. And I, I feel like it'll make a difference, you know what I mean? And I've had my experience. When I got my drug and alcohol certification, I was working at a methadone clinic. Mm. And that's what kind of made me want to go on ahead and open my own. But at the time when I was doing that, I'm 25 now. I was doing that between 21 and 23. Mm. And it's like I got a caseload of 75 clients. And <laughs> I'm younger than their <laughs> fucking youngest kid. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there and I'm coaching them on life. Mm. So at first it was a little hard because it's like, I know a lot of them are like, what the fuck do you know? You mm -hmm. haven't even lived yet. But then it's like I grew on them. And he was like, damn, she know a little bit. And it's like, I know that if I was able to do that for a younger crowd, it would be way more effective if I could touch them. Okay. So. How about you, cutie? Anything? Whew, I have a lot. Talk, talk heavy, queen. What you got? I have a lot just, just touch of things on it. I want to do. Um, <clears throat> starting with the fact that... Um, I'm, I'm was I'm a hairstylist, mm -hmm. so um, I've worked in salons, and um, I feel like <clears throat> being newer a newer stylist, it's hard for you to get that, not that buzz, but like that clientele and stuff like that. You know, fresh out of hair school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I was to maybe open up like not like hair schools, but like little salons where it give them chance a chance to grow and becoming a stylist, I feel like we don't really get a chance. And it's like nowadays, like the social media and stuff, like it's really hard for you. And it's like some people really work hard. Like some of these people really didn't have to work as hard as some of the people who really are actually out here trying to work to mm -hmm. where they're at. So I feel like everybody don't get a chance, especially in this hair industry. And it's like, that's me. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A new stylist. Like I wanna, I wanna, I want my bookings to go. I wanna be up there. Like I wanna be overlooked, overbooked. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not fear. And these bigger stylists, they don't want people working like that in their salon. You get what I'm saying? Because they feel like they this and they feel like they that. And I feel like it's not fair. <clears throat> so. 
the lower level stylists don't really get a chance to become or see or even experience being on a bigger level. So it's like, y'all not help, like y'all don't help. And it's, it's not fair. So I just feel like if I was to open up something where stylists who don't get a chance to be in salons and stuff like that, where they get a chance to come there and do hair, have their own little clients or whatever the case may be, and they feel comfortable mm -hmm. because they're not around nobody that feels like they're bigger than them. You get what I'm saying? Or right. they're not insecure with how they do something because somebody else does it a certain way and more people like how they do it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So... I'm I'm I really like doing I like doing hair. It's it's a it's a little it's a little thing thing thing. <laughs> Especially in Philly. What oh my goodness, they don't even know how good it is in Atlanta. And I would like to do it somewhere else. But I wanna bring my Philly bitches somewhere else. Gotcha. So So you're not gonna shit on the Philly bitches like Amber Rose. I respect it. Gotcha. I'm not gonna shit on my Philly bitches. Well, like I'm gonna take y'all with me. We out. We gonna go open I'm I am i am gonna open up something. We gonna go out like Okay. We don't gotta be down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't gotta Boy. be down here. We don't gotta be down here. We don't gotta deal with this. But so on that note, did you guys enjoy yourself? I did. Yes. Did you enjoy us? I did this. I love this episode. Episode. It's a great conversation. Hey Zach, did you enjoy us? Yeah. Did you enjoy us? <laughs> Shout out to the new plug. I think it's a very entertaining but also informative episode. So I appreciate y'all for coming on. Drop y'all social media names so people know where to find y'all at. All right, I'm Molly underscore X underscore Mary on Instagram. You can find me there. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm you so underscore cute with two E's. And where can they find and come get some entertainment at? The at the jungle, jungle tonight. Where, where, where the trap niggas? Where the trap niggas? Where to go? Where, where, come on, where the, that's <laughs> where we are going after we leave here. Okay, okay. So if you want to pull up, 3728 North, North Broad, Broad Street. Street. It's the jungle. Okay, what's what's the usual day y'all there? You know, you gotta get that. Well. I'm there Wednesday we through Monday. Saturday. Wednesday through Saturday. But we're open Tuesday through Sunday. Okay. How about you, cutie same? Yeah. Typically. All right. Ch check them out, whatever. Uh, Ryan Kilov, talk about it. We out. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>